Hi everyone, I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile and in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at the newly launched Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. The review unit I have is coming from Sprint which does support Sprint's 4G LTE unit or 4G LTE network. Um, and we're going to go ahead and in this video take a look at some of the new features of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S3 which is the older generation model. Samsung says it has packed over 160 new features on the Galaxy S4 from the Galaxy S3. We're not going to have enough time to cover all of those, but we're going to cover a few of our favorite features and highlight some of the new software changes. However, at first glance, you'll notice that both devices occupy roughly the same footprint and that the design from the Galaxy S3, which I have here on the right, is largely unchanged moving from to the Galaxy S4. The Galaxy S3 does have a more curvy body and you can see it from the angles and the lines that um, it does have a more a more, cur uh, more curvature to its design, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S4 has a more flat uh, finish to it. On the Galaxy S4, you do have a 5 inch H full HD 1080p Super AMOLED display, which is up from the uh, 3.8 inch, actually the 4.8 inch uh, 720p HD display on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So you do have a larger screen that occupies the same real estate, which is quite an accomplishment on a design level by Samsung. Um, also on the back, you have an upgraded 13 megapixel camera that can record 1080p HD video. There's a single LED flash and the speaker has moved to the bottom um, of the device compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3's 8 megapixel camera with the flash on the side and the speaker on the other side. The design of the camera um, is nice and elegant. However, I will note right off the bat that the Galaxy S4 um, makes it a little bit uncomfortable to hold when you're holding the camera in landscape mode as there's um, little space here on the side to grip onto the phone. So um, you might be obscuring the lens on the Galaxy S4 more than you realize if you're holding the phone in landscape mode. The Galaxy S4 also features a removable back battery cover, unlike the HTC One, which it competes in the same space with. Once you remove the back battery cover, you do have uh, two card slots, uh, one for the micro SIM card. On the Sprint unit, the micro SIM card is used for GSM roaming, so if you're traveling to international countries, you can pop in a local SIM card there. The other card slot is a micro SD card uh, card slot, and I've used a 64 gig micro SD XC card without any problems. So you can upgrade the 16 gigabytes of onboard storage um, with 64 more gigs. The phone does have two gigs of RAM, and there is a large 2600 milliamp hour battery that powers the phone. In my usage, it lasts um, for well over a full working day on 4G LTE and it can last for about a day and a half with Wi-Fi turned on most of the time and moderate use. So the battery is pretty capacious. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new software features that the Samsung Galaxy S4 comes with. Um, one of the features that I like um, once you turn on the phone is that the lock screen now has widgets. Um, here you have a communication notifications widget, which is sort of like your communication um, hub. It's like your BlackBerry hub where you'll see um, notifications for all your messaging apps, including Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, as well as email and SMS. So it will link up to not only the native email application on the phone, but also to your Gmail inbox as well. So it will tell you uh, what messages haven't been read and are, are waiting you or waiting for your attention. Um, and you can swipe over and add more screens. I have here a remote control screen, which we'll talk about in a bit. It will allow you to watch uh, TV and control your TV with an infrared, uh, an IR blaster here at the top. And also I can quickly launch any application from the lock screen as well. This little um, application drawer here on the lock screen um, may seem like a redundant, um, 
a redundant addition considering it's easy to just wipe and unlock the phone and launch the application tray to launch any app you want. But given that a lot of enterprise users do have alphanumeric passcodes, which make it harder to unlock a phone or more timely to unlock the phone. So if you need access to a low sensitive um, app like a gallery app or even the internet browser, you can quickly do that without having to unlock your phone at all. Now the phone does have a number of additional sensors on it um, that's added on top of what we already saw on the Galaxy S3. So on the Galaxy S4 here on the front, you do have an infrared sensor so that enables some of the motion and gesture sensor or uh, motion and gesture control of the phone that we've been reading about. There's also a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, as well as a barometer in addition to the um, to the accelerometer and gyroscope, and you do have the ambient light sensor and the proximity sensor on top as well. So one of the apps that's new to the phone is actually the Samsung S Health app, and we're gonna launch it here through the widget. The S Health app is similar to what Motorola has implemented with the Motocast application on the um, Motorola smartphones with the uh, companion's uh, Moto Active smartwatch. However, here it's built into the phone itself and uses the accelerometer to track how many steps you've taken. It also uh, tracks how many calories you burned, how many calories you've consumed with this food tracker. And if you're a foodie, you can go ahead and add a picture um, of what you've eaten and you can go ahead and calculate how many calories you've consumed and how many you burn through working out. And if you're a fitness buff, you can go ahead and enter in the exercise mate and you can go ahead and enter in um, what type of workout you're doing, how long you've been doing the workout, and it will give you a nice track of how many calories you burn that way. And to make use of the sensor, this is actually a little weather station in your pocket. There's a comfort level indicator here, um, which is nice because it shows you the ambient temperature where you are in a room or outdoors rather than what the weather station is actually reporting. So this is nice because it's directly related to you and it's about you. And it also gives you the humidity. So right now it's 81 degrees. So it's a little bit on the warmer side with 43% humidity where I am right now. Another cool app that Samsung has bundled um, is the um, optical reader app. We're going to go ahead and cover the optical reader in greater detail in another, um, in another video. Let me go ahead and clear that out and actually load the optical reader. But it essentially allows you to scan keywords. So here, let's go ahead and scan select words on this page and it actually allows you to either translate the word here we're doing an English to French translation or you can go ahead and select English to English which will give you um, what the dictionary meaning of the word is in English so let's go ahead and do that and you also can have the um, the optical reader here speak the word so you do have pronunciation as well. So if you're a traveler or learning a new language, um, this is a great application to have as it allows you to translate what you're seeing so you can capture a picture of a sign and you don't even have to type in um, the word to be translated. But if you do want to type in a word, um, Samsung has also bundled S Translator which works in the same way as Google Translate and it allows you to um, type a word in, in English or in a language of your choice and have it translated to another language. And then you can also speak, um, speak the word that you want translated. So let's go ahead and say galaxy. Galaxy. So I can do voice input as well and it's translating it into French right now. And let's go ahead and have it pronounce it in French. So it's a little cool app. Um, if you're at a restaurant in Paris and you want to order something in, and you don't know what the equivalent is in French, you can go ahead and speak it. So let's do hamburger. Hamburger. And you can go ahead and speak it to 
um, the waiter um, using your phone. So it's a nice conversational piece as well. And another um, application or another feature that I wanted to highlight in this would be um, certain applications make use of the sensor. So let's go ahead and go into the internet browser. Here we're launching um, the phone actually comes with Google Chrome as well as the Samsung Internet Browser. And the Samsung Internet Browser actually ties in a lot of the different motion sensors that we've been talking about or have seen reported. So here I'm going to go ahead and try to scroll through the page by using hand gestures. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe up and you can see the page um, scroll up. And let's go ahead and swipe down. And then another cool part is that there's a hover feature and with hover, if you're just hovering your finger over um, text on the page, you can see it magnified on the um, Galaxy S4. So it's a nice feature if you're, say, in the full page view of the New York Times trying to get an overview of the entire front page of the daily newspaper and you want to see what you know, a preview of what the uh, one of the sections says, but you don't want to zoom in or too lazy to zoom in, you can go ahead and just hover over it and it will give you a magnifying glass so that you can see the text. Hover actually works in the messaging app and in Flipboard as well. So um, I can go ahead and hover over certain, certain um, over my messages and it will give you me a message preview. and that way I wouldn't have to open the message, um, which is useful if you're a business traveler and you're looking at your emails while you're away and you don't want to have to keep on marking some emails as unread. Here you can go ahead and just see what the content is and everything would be unread. So when you get back to your desk, you can go ahead and reply to the important emails that you need to reply to. There's another app called Watch On, and that would allow you to actually um, control your TV. Um, it makes use of the infrared sensor here at the top. This is the IR blaster and not the infrared um, sensor that you see for scrolling. Here you just program in your local city, your local um, provider for cable or satellite TV, and it will give you a visual guide of what's playing right now on TV. So you don't have to um, control things by channel, you can actually say, I want to watch The Simpsons, and you tap The Simpsons, you tap on Watch Now, and it will populate, or it will change the channel automatically. If you want to do things the old-fashioned way, you still have the old remote control here as well. And um, Samsung is tying Watch In. It's actually a program developed um, with the underlying technologies by Peel, but Samsung's adding in the ability for you to search for additional content. So. Not only will it show you what's on TV, you can go ahead and search uh, by on demand and say if you wanted to watch Toy Story, um, it's not on TV, but you can go ahead, Samsung will allow you to rent or buy it, um, and it will give you options for various sources where you can do it from. So here, your renting and purchasing options come directly from the Samsung Video Hub. And of course, um, you do have your typical, your, your normal, um, program guide and you can also search for videos. So let's go ahead and search for cats. So anything that's playing with cats, um, you have movies um, and it will even pull in YouTube content as well. So that's a nice feature. Um, and then with the Watch On app, if you have a newer Samsung TV, um, say if you're watching a big sports game and you need to go into the kitchen to grab a beer, when you're doing that, um, if you're connected with the app over Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi Direct on the same network as the TV, um, through place shifting technology, you can actually watch the content that's playing on your TV um, on your Galaxy S4 smartphone. So you can take your phone into the kitchen, grab a beer, um, and not miss any moment of the sports game. Go back to your couch and then pick up where, you're, uh, where you stop watching um, basically on your big screen TV again.
And then the last feature that I wanted to take a look at is the camera app. Samsung says that it's learned a lot from its experiences with the Galaxy camera. So here on the camera app, you do have a very prominent mode dial and most of the major settings are placed front and center on top. So you don't have to dive into the settings menu and look at a text-based menu. Here, everything's very visual. So once you hit the mode dial, you'll see a number of different modes. Um, some of the cool modes is sound, sound and shot, which allows you to record a short audio clip along with capturing a still image. So if you have a baby who's learning how to say his first word and want a photo with just uh, the word that your baby's trying to sound out, you can actually use that feature and it's pretty cool. Another um, type of shot is drama shot which um, allows you to capture a grafted time-lapse photo. So say someone's going in for a basketball dunk. Um, this will capture a series of shots um, as a person's walking towards the basket, making the dunk, and then stitch all the shots together. So this is like an action type of shot. And then you do have HDR, best face, and just a lot of the similar types of shots that you found on the Galaxy S3. The night mode is actually pretty useful as it does capture um, a pretty decent image without a lot of noise um, through the night mode. And that's because if you look into the settings, um, it's on auto right now, but the ISO can be cranked up to about 800. So it does crank up the ISO and allow you to capture a pretty decent image without the use of the LED flash. Um, but the most useful thing about the camera would be the dual camera mode. So here, if I turn on dual camera, let's actually go, since I'm in drama mode, let's go back to auto. Go ahead and turn on dual camera and it will actually record, um, it will actually show me what I'm seeing here and I can take a picture and it will record both with the front facing and the rear facing camera. So if you're at Yosemite and you want to show people what your reaction is to half dome, you can capture your face and half dome in the same picture. Or if you're in a group shot and you wanna and you're the photographer and you want to appear in the shot, you can go ahead and do that as well. So I think um, the dual camera mode is one of the most useful shot or features of the new 13 megapixel camera. And once you've captured your image, you can go ahead and create a story album, which is like a scrapbook that you can share. So um, here I've just been walking around downtown San Jose and um, it's created this puzzle theme. I can add in a map of where I was and it will go ahead and show me uh, and it will allow me to order um, the storybook and print it out as well. So if I wanna create a professional book that I can mail to grandma about my trip to downtown San Jose, I can go ahead and do that. The nice thing also about the camera is that um, it will now overlay um, not only the location information, if you have that, if you have a GPS tag for it, but it will also overlay the date and the weather information. So I know I'm taking this picture on a nice sunny day, so I can recall better what my memory was um, at a future point. So these are some of the major features of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Overall, you're getting a lot of phone in roughly the same package as you got in the Galaxy S3. A lot of enhancement, a sleeker new design, um, an upgraded camera, bigger battery, beefier uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor on the US variants. The Samsung Sprint Edition comes with the Qualcomm 600 processor and a 4G LTE modem. So um, you do get um, the Qualcomm processor instead of the Samsung Exynos um, 5 Octa on, the, on some of the, more, some of the uh, international variants. I'm Chang Wen for Gotta Be Mobile, and thanks for watching this video of the Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, please check us out on gottamemobile.com forward slash Galaxy S4 review for additional information about the Samsung Galaxy S4.